Hey, it's Mike with Rendition Paintball, and today I'm going to show you how to install the new Rendition Magnet Trigger Kit for the Dangerous Power G3. Um, luckily, the Dangerous Power G3 uses the same uh, Magnet Trigger Kit as the Threshold, uh, but it's uh, very easy to install and only takes a couple minutes. Um, inside your Magnet Trigger Kit, you're going to get uh, five parts here. What you're going to get is a little white washer, a small magnet that goes on your trigger, a larger magnet that glues on top of the white washer, a sticker, and some super glue. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get started. Uh, first thing I suggest you to do is to remove your barrel and set that aside and remove your regulator. And your regulator will hold air, so you do want to try to dry fire your gun to make sure that your regulator doesn't have any air pressure. Uh, if your regulator is kind of hard to unscrew, make sure that you dry fire your gun because the regulator will hold air. Uh, in your gun. And then the uh, next thing you're going to do is take your Allen key and remove your hook. Okay. And just go ahead and set that aside. And then what we'll do is remove the two screws that hold your grip frame on. That's kind of neat with the G3 because the two screws that hold your grip on um, one goes underneath and one goes over the top. Okay. And now we can see the inside of the uh, trigger there. Now what I suggest you do is at this point go ahead and remove your trigger. Okay, and your trigger should slide right out of the top of the frame along with your spring. Okay, now what you can do to kind of hold your uh, gun in place is what I like to do is just kind of take a shoe and now you can set the body of the gun on top of the shoe. And that's going to kind of hold the uh, hold the body in place so you don't have to worry about pulling out any wires or anything like that. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take the super glue. Punch a hole in the super glue with the cap. Okay, and then what you do is just go ahead and put a drop of super glue in the spring well. Okay. And then go ahead and drop the washer down there first. And just kind of slide it in place. Okay. And drop the washer down inside there first. Then what you're going to do is take another drop of super glue and put it on top of the washer. Now the reason why you need to use a washer or the specially designed washers that are included in the kit is because the way how they machined this the magnet won't glue flush to the frame. It's going to rock around so the washer kind of acts as a stabilizer. And now what you do is go ahead and glue the large magnet to the top of the washer just like that and what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry um, for about uh, maybe about five minutes um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to come back and check for polarity so glue the washer down there first the magnet on top of it and then go ahead and okay, just now while the frame dry, is drying the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to remove the pre-travel screw that's in your trigger now the reason why you want to remove this is when you go to glue the magnet uh, to the little spring hold here. If this screw is in place, what can happen is the magnet can jump off of the uh, the glue and attach itself to this uh, this screw here. So what you're just going to do is go ahead and thread the screw right out the top. And sometimes they are kind of loctited in place, so it can be a little. You have to kind of take your time and unscrew this uh, or screw this set screw out of the top. Okay. All right. Screw is out. Now the next thing you want to do is, uh, the, I don't know if this is uh, just how they machine this or how exactly, but 
uh, check on the trigger here to make sure that there is no flashing sticking off the trigger here um, that could prevent the magnet from gluing to it. Now what I like to do is uh, take just kind of a, an old kitchen knife and just make sure that uh, you kind of make sure that there's no flashing or anything uh, sticking up. So it seems to be a kitchen knife seems to work pretty good if there is any sort of flashing or material sticking up here that would prevent the magnet from gluing to the trigger. Okay, now, now that we've given the um, frame a little bit of time to dry, what we'll do is we'll do a polarity test really quick. So I just take the, uh, take the uh, magnet and do a quick polarity test. Okay, now we know that this is the correct polarity. So the side is facing down. You want these to repel, not to attract. So you want these to repel, which this one does. So we can go ahead and set this aside again. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll put a drop of super glue right there. And then go ahead and stick the magnet. Oops. Oops. Okay, there we go. And we stuck the magnet to the trigger. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to let this dry for about five minutes and we're going to stick it back into the gun and do a polarity test. Okay, once the glue here sets, what you want to do is just go ahead and put your set screw back into the uh, back into the trigger. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put the trigger trigger back into the frame. Okay, and then right away you can feel that the, uh, the polarity is correct. So we know we got the polarity correct. And then from here you just basically put your screws back into your gun. You just got to put uh, one in through the top. And you'll put the one in through the bottom. That's about it. You'll just double check your trigger settings and you're all set to go. Uh, this feels great. Email me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.